Hi and welcome to this video. In the next couple of minutes, I will show you how to work with baselines on Umbraco Cloud. The baseline feature lets you create new cloud projects based on an existing one. You get your standard components or great packages you can't live without in a couple of clicks. My name is Gabriel and I will be your Umbraco Unicorn guy today. This is how the agenda looks like. We'll start with creating a new project based on an existing one and for naming convention, when we work with the baseline flow, we call the existing project project baseline and the new ones created based on that baseline child projects. After that, we'll restore the content from the baseline to the child project. So we'll have an identical site. And in the last part, we'll push some updates from the baseline project to the child one. Sounds exciting? Then let's get started. I'm on my projects overview on cloud and the one that I'm going to use as a baseline is called Lion. The project has a starter kit installed, so we have some content to work with. In order to create a child project, we are going to use the create new project option from the top right corner. Click on this one and then we get two options. We can choose either the starter or the professional plan. For this video, I'm going to choose the starter plan. Click on get started and then we just provide a project name. It can be baby lion. Let's choose a color. And then in here we have the option to choose the baseline. Each project in Umbraco Cloud can be a baseline for another project. So let's click on this one and choose the line, accept the terms and the conditions, and then create uh, create project. Super. So the process of moving our data from one project to another will start in a couple of, uh, of seconds. It might take several minutes before the child project is ready. It highly depends on the size of the project you have decided to use as a baseline. For further information, a child project is super similar to a fork on GitHub. We create a clone of an existing project while maintaining a connection between uh, the two projects. By having this connection, you are able to push the updates from the baseline to the child projects. Now I will uh, fast forward until the uh, child project is ready. Super, the child project has been created successfully. As you can see just under the name, we have this uh, message that says this project is based on the Lion baseline. So I'll just refresh this page so we get some uh, more useful information on the environment level. Perfect. So in the next step, we'll restore the content from the baseline to the child project. Great, I'm on the baby lion project and let's have a look in the back office of it to see how the structure of the site looks like after the project has been created successfully. So I'll just go in here, select go to back office and sure enough, I'm ready to to the back office. And as you can see here, we don't have any content or media files uh, yet. But on the other hand, if we jump to the settings section, we have our document types, templates, style sheets or scripts from the baseline project to the child project. If we are working with a baseline solution, it is also possible to restore the content from the baseline to the child project. So we have an identical website. To do that, we just jump uh, back to the content uh, section. We right click on the three dots and then we select the option restore. Click on that one and then we have the option to restore uh, the website from the baseline. Click on the green button restore from baseline and the restore process uh, begins. It takes a couple of, uh, of uh, seconds to get the, the content and uh, the media files. I will fast forward this. Awesome, the resource has been completed. Let's uh, click OK. And then if we refresh this one, we have our uh, content and also the media files from the baseline to the child project. In the next step, we'll deploy updates from the baseline to the child project. I'm on the baseline project line and as you can see below the name, we have this message which says this project is a baseline for other projects. Manage updates here. If you click on this one, we'll be redirected to a page where we can see all of the child project that this baseline has. From here, we can push updates or upgrades to the child project. We can select all of them or an individual project. I have made a small small change on the baseline project to show you how to push the updates to the child project. So let's have a look. In here I'm on the baseline project and I have I have added a new uh, property in here called the uh, new updates and if we have a look at the baby line on the child project, we don't have that property in here. So let's actually push that update from the baseline to the child project. We go back in here, we select the baby line and then we press the button update selected children. Perfect, we have to confirm 
and then we, within a couple of seconds uh, the deployment uh, kicks in so right now we are pushing that update from the baseline to the child uh, project for some more in-depth information on what is happening when a child project is created or when an upgrade is deployed there is a link in uh, in the description it might take a couple of, uh, of minutes to push the update uh, updates it highly depends on how much you are pushing from the baseline to the child uh, project Perfect, the update has has been completed, so let's have a look at the Baby Lion uh, project and let's refresh. And uh, sure enough, we have um, the new property in here, so we have pushed from the baseline to the child uh, to the child project. This is how you work with the baselines on Umbraco Cloud. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, high five you rock!